Unit 8, Lesson 7, Using Histograms to Answer Statistical Questions. Number 1. These two histograms show the number of text messages sent in one week by two groups of 100 students. The first histogram summarizes data from 6th grade students. The second histogram summarizes data from 7th grade students. A. Do the two data sets have approximately the same center? If so, explain where the center is located. If not, which one has the greater center? The data set for the 6th graders has a center of 100. And the center for the data set of the 7th graders is also 100. So neither the 6th graders nor the 7th graders have a larger or a smaller center. They both have a center of 100. B. Which data set has a greater spread? Explain your reasoning. The 6th grade data ranges from 45 to 155. So it has a spread from 45 to 155. The 7th grade data spreads from 75 to 125. So the 6th grade data has a greater spread. C. Overall, which group of students, 6th or 7th grade, sent more text messages? Both 6th grade and 7th grade sent close to the same amount of texts as they both have the same center value. Neither the 6th grade nor the 7th grade sent more text messages. Number 2. 40 6th grade students ran one mile. Here is a histogram that summarizes their times in minutes. The center of the distribution is approximately 10 minutes. On the blank axes, draw a second histogram that has a distribution of times for a different group of 40 6th grade students, a center at 10 minutes, and less variability than the distribution shown in the first histogram. To represent a distribution of times for a different group of 40 6th grade students, I took the column from 4 to 6 and placed it on top of the column from 6 to 8, and I placed the column on the right-hand side from 14 to 16, and I placed it on top of the column for 12 to 14. We have the same number of students, but now we have a different distribution, and the center is still at 10 minutes. It also gave it less variability than the distribution shown in the first histogram. The first histogram showed a variability ranging from 4 to 16, and the new histogram ranges from 6 to 14. Number 3. Jada has D dimes and has more than 30 cents but less than a dollar. A. Write two inequalities that represent how many dimes Jada has. I'll give you a choice of four. You can use either D is greater than three, D is less than 10, or D is greater than or equal to four, and D is less than or equal to nine. B. Can D be 10? No, D can't be 10 because D has to be less than 10. 10 dimes equals one dollar, and one dollar is too large because the information says that she has more than 30 cents, but less than a dollar. C. How many possible solutions make both inequalities true? If possible, describe or list the solutions. I can think of six different solutions that work. The solutions are four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Number four, order these numbers from greatest to least. So we gotta look for the largest positive numbers first to find the greatest numbers. If we were to put these numbers in order from greatest to least, the order would be four, seven fourths, one fourth, zero, negative five fourths, negative three and a half, and negative four. Congratulations, you've completed unit eight, lesson seven, using histograms to answer statistical questions.